Right, so there's the long road I've just come down. When I turn around it, it's going to be blowy. But I've got, I've got sufficient time to get back for the 6 o'clock bus. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to take my time. It's beautiful up here. It's peaceful. There's no one about hardly. I, think I only meet people that are lost. And it wasn't that late. They had a map. They've just got to work it out. If they headed to that road there, that would be part of it. But uh, I did tell them if they go straight down then past the stables. I've often wondered what these things are here. I don't know if they're markers, but every now and again they sort of line up with these mounds, these processional mounds. I'm just really enjoying this. I mean, I'm really glad it was windy. I don't care if it's 20 miles per hour. To be quite honest, it's beautiful. This wind in the summer is absolutely a saver. When I'm walking along, I know it's hotter than I realise. But I've got this wind blowing against my face, blowing through my light shorts, calling me. And allowing me to be able to breathe. I've got no breathing issues. Um, I feel really good today. I actually feel really good. I mean, I've had no shortness of breath. A little tiny bit going up the hills, but that's normal. Um, I've kept off the cheese. I plan to have the cheese when I get to the the uh, bench table in the field. Um, uh, as I approach Pony Slides, there'll be a sheep filled with um, a table in it, or a, or a bench, I can't remember which. I'm going to stop there and have my cheese and tomato and my much, my much um, looking forward to right, right being a drink with a straw. And I took it all the way out the other day and forgot I had it. I forgot I had it the other day. When I went on the Crook's Peak walk, I didn't drink it. I should have had it in, I'm I was supposed to have had it, it at the church and I forgot all about it. Now today I brought one still water, no, two still waters, one spring water, which is slightly sparkly, and a carton of fluid. Now enough fluids really for me to get by on. As long as I spread them out and don't drink them all at once. That's the mistake people won't. Plan so that you know that last part of your journey, you've still got a bottle of water. These are lovely trees for sheltering around or under for the animals, you know. Lovely little trees, little gnarled trees. Look back again. Can't see nobody. No, I can't see anyone at all. So I'm going this way. There come a point when I should reach what's called the processional route. It's like a wide patch. It's a wide patch of track that comes up from Tinian's farm, goes over the top and down to Burrington Coombe. So you have to look out for it so you don't get go past it. Because I have got lost before now. I've been lost up here in the mist once and it was quite scary actually. I thought I knew my way around. I've been lost in the mist a few times on walks and I couldn't believe I got lost. I really couldn't believe it. I thought I knew the place, you know, like the back of your hand if you know what I mean. But you get disorientated in the mist. I mean, if I obviously had a compass, you wouldn't. But um, I do normally have a compass with me. I don't think I've got it today. But I don't carry everything with me. Um, I just wish I was a bit stronger and fitter to be able to carry my tenting equipment. You know? And sleeping bag and all that. And I'd go off of longer sort of hikes 
but I've got to remember I'm getting on a bit. Um, so I don't know when that will happen yet. I'm building up the equipment though. I'm, I mean, the, the I've got a really good floor mat, if you like, which you put your sleeping bag on top of. But it's bulky. Too bulky for um, ca carrying. The roll enough is uh, can be bulky as well, even though it's light. Some stuff's light, but it's bulky. So this um, self-inflated mat roll, if you like, they cost about hundred pound plus because they're ultra good, ultra light. <laughs> Easy to inflate and deflate. Look at that view. Let's see if we go back to the trick point in a minute. So I've just walked all the way along this track. All the way. There we go. Scotland are playing. They might have finished actually. Scotland are playing somebody today in the Euros. Euros. Oh, it's beautiful now. I can't believe there's no one out. <sighs> can't believe there's no one out. Right, all I've got to do is carry on. I don't have to go as far as the trees at Ro Roborough. I just, I'll be coming out in a minute. I've got to look. Don't miss the turning for the processional route. <sighs> it's easy to miss sometimes when you come from a different direction. I reckon those women I met, I bet they're, they're, they must have done Velvet Bottom by now. But it, like I said, it's not a race. I'm not, I'm not really likely to bump into them. They'll probably pass me when I'm standing at the bus stop. Thinking, oh poor girl, now she's got to get a bus home. Well, the thing is, you, do, you can't do anything about it. I just think to myself, right. Well, that's it. That's what it is. I, I either get out and use the bus or I don't get out. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's not the same as having your own van, going back to your own place, you know, and having your chips and that. You can still have chips and wait for a bus, but they they just don't put enough buses on. They stop them. I mean, there was one year they put them on to eight o'clock and that was brilliant. You could really go out and not worry about having to rush back. <sighs> Let's zoom in again. All the way. <sighs> Looks a long way. The winds are saving saver today. I, I, I moan about the wind, but... I thought to myself, oh, it's going to be breezy, it's going to be cold. It ain't. It ain't breezy like that. It's beautiful. It's actually cooling me. So I'm not getting all hot and bothered. Can't be long now before we reach the procession. I'm looking forward to my cheese and tomato. I really am. But I do know, imagine cheese. Big lump of cheese, you know, is going to give you indigestion, isn't it? Keep it for the end of the walk. If I'm getting that six o'clock bus, this is the plan. I have to be at the top of the wood area by quarter past the hour. So if I'm getting the six o'clock, I need to be at the top by quarter past five. If I decide to get the five o'clock, I need to be at the top by quarter past four. Those are the rules. And here's the, here we are. We are at the processional route now. I can see a wooden marker and what looks like mowed grass, but it's not mowed. Rabbits eat it. Yeah, here we go then. We've reached the processional route, which I use a lot. And I'm coming from 
from Longwood. It's wide, you can't miss it. It's a big wide processional route. There we go. There's the trees of Roborough. There's the trig point right over there. Burrington Coombe would be down there and I sometimes do a lower walk. Don't know how I ever manage that now to get it in in the time. Perhaps I don't do Velvet Bottom when I do that. Could be I come straight to Longwood and up. Yeah, I think I do. No, I don't. No, you don't. You don't. You go past the masts. When you had your van, Sheila. Right then, folks, I'm going to turn off. Turn off here. Take a few more shots. Then I'll be going down to Tynion's farm. Over and out.